Hey guys, today I'm going to do an unboxing review of the LEGO Seasonal 2021 Year of the Ox. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, this is recommended for your setting up, and this is set 40417, and here you can write who is it for and who is it from. You have the ox itself, and you have a very nice looking background. Here it says year of the ox, and this is the top, which shows you the actual size of the eye. This is the side, this is the other side, this is the bottom, and finally this is the back. It shows you the features of the ox build and at the top here it shows that you can put a red envelope inside and you can give it to someone and here it shows you some of the pieces included inside the box but aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so let's open this up and take a more closer look at what comes inside So when you open the box here, it shows you the year of the ox and more of the pieces thing which continues from the back of the box and what's included inside are three bags of uh, pieces and you have the instruction and you also have uh, a red envelope which is not red but uh, the design of it does look pretty cool. You have uh, the build of the ox here, looks quite nice and this is the instruction. This is the first page, and this is the final page, and here it shows you uh, the parts list, and yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it with everything inside the box. So let's build this up, and let's take a more detailed look at the build. This is the build all built up, so let's first take a look at the extra pieces. For the extra pieces, you have a few of the uh, one by one towel pieces, and you have uh, one by one plate pieces, and also uh, cheese loaf pieces, and you also have uh, this horn piece, you have this Technic piece, and you have uh, this modified stud, I believe, and you also have two flower pieces. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the extra pieces. This is the build itself right here, so let's start with the ox. So for the ox itself, you have uh, the legs right here which are on a ball joint. You can articulate them quite easily. And there is a 1x2 round plate piece at the bottom. And um, yeah, it's also on the arms right here. Um, yeah, I guess they're arms, but uh, you can also articulate the arms. They're also on a ball joint. And yeah, you can kind of do it like this, I suppose. And uh, yeah, the belly itself here, you have this tan part in the middle, and this is how it looks from the side. Nothing too special about it, and this is the back. You have the tail, which you can kind of spin around if you want to, and you also have uh, this modified piece at the end. And for the head itself, uh, you can turn it around quite easily, 360 degrees. And you have the nose part right here. You have the eyes, which they are printed, which is definitely nice. And only two of them are included. You have the horns and you have the ears, which you can also adjust them if you want to. But yeah, you can't really move much. And um, yeah, this is how it looks from the back. Um, but aside from that, that's pretty much it for the ox. So this is the stand. The ox attaches to the stand via uh, four studs and this is how the ox looks from the bottom. And yeah, you just have a towel piece here and you have a one by two towel gold pieces and yeah, they do look quite nice. And you have gold flower pieces on each end on a uh, one by two jumper piece in red and you have two of these lily pad pieces in orange and you also have uh, these leaf pieces I believe I'm not exactly sure but you have a yellow flower piece on each end and yeah but aside from that that's pretty much it for the stand build so yeah that's pretty much it for the year of the ox build so over conclusion of this set here so how did it well i think the build itself here is pretty good i like the printed pieces they look quite nice and i think lego did a great job designing this and they have been for the past few years for these uh seasonal sets and it's a very nice display piece something to put on your desk i think it will look great and it's a free gift so I don't have much to nitpick here it's something that you get for free and it's really nice if you really want it but you couldn't really spend that much on Lego then you should try and find it from uh, third-party sellers and uh, find the cheapest price among them so 
yeah, if you like it, I definitely recommend you picking this one up. So I'll put links to all of my social media pages down in the description. And if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch my videos right here. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.